Annyeonghaseyo, Tifa mida. Hi everyone, my name is Tifa and today I'm going to be talking to you about Squid Game. Now, I definitely know I'm not the first person to talk about this series and I definitely will not be the last. I saw the trailer a couple of months ago and as soon as I saw it I knew that I had to watch this when it came out. It reminded me so much of Alice in Borderland and a couple of other Japanese and Korean films that are pretty similar to this kind of concept which is honestly one of my favourite concepts and one of my favourite genres in general. Psychological horrors that involve some sort of game or puzzle, I don't know why it is just so interesting but I knew I had to watch it so here we are. <laughs> Obviously after finishing the first season of Squid Game there is a lot of mysteries that are just left unsolved, a lot of questions that we all want answers to so of course the theories are here. There are so many theories that I have seen across the internet so I thought we could compile them all into one video and talk about them. Especially since I've had my own personal theories and trying to see what other people are thinking uh, and those that have thought similarly, especially on Reddit and TikTok, has given me some sort of validation. So I thought we could put some of those theories to the test, see if there's any truth to it or if they are substantial theories at all and just discuss them. This video is definitely going to be riddled with spoilers so if you have not seen Squid Game and you would like to see it, I would recommend going to find a spoiler free review or just staying off of the internet because seriously with TikTok and Twitter and Instagram and literally everything you're gonna find a spoiler of Squid Game. I'm not kidding. It is one of the most popular TV shows at the moment and it is almost Netflix's most popular show. So yeah, if you don't want any spoilers, I don't think I'm gonna be able to help you. <laughs> so let's get into seven theories about Squid Game. Number one. If we start off at the beginning of the series, Seong is asked to pick a colour to play in this little game at the train station. The colours are between red and blue. He picks blue. I thought that this could possibly correlate to whether they end up being players or workers, with blue representing the players and red representing the workers. So whichever colour you pick, decided which side you would be on if you did win the game. I was definitely not the only person who thought this as a TikTok video about it went viral, so it is clear that other people are kind of on the same wavelength, so I thought I would look a little bit more into this theory. As much as I thought that this was a pretty viable theory, if you go back videos of other players playing this game, at least one of those players chooses red, according to a variety of Reddit users. He also states that all those players are suffering from debt. Perhaps this means the colour doesn't matter, or that the workers are in some type of debt as well, which is why they're working as part of this game. Number two. In relation to this, Seong dyes his hair red at the end of the series. This possibly symbolises that he is going to be on the workers' side in the next season. That's the theory anyway. <laughs> this made me wonder about why the workers are actually there. Do they get a pool of money as well if they are able to keep everyone in check? Do they get paid out in some way? I'm really not sure, but I guess our next theory kind of plays into that as well. Number three. There is a theory that the workers are previous contestants. So, in conjunction to theory one and two. <laughs> if Seong dyeing his hair red symbolizes that he is going to the worker side, perhaps the workers were all previous contestants as well. Because otherwise, why else would they do this? If they were chosen at random due to the game that is played at the beginning of Squid Game, why would they just not stop after seeing so many people die and being a part of that? The theory of them being previous contestants is probably more likely than theory number one, as that kind of has a few plot holes within it. 
A lot of Reddit users also pointed out that these workers are too disciplined to have been chosen at random. Why wouldn't they want to stop all these deaths or keep being part of it if they were chosen at random? Being previous contestants or having something to do with the games previously would make more sense as they would be a little bit more desensitized. Number four. This is an interesting theory and it is that Stay Bjork is still alive. This is something I did actually think about but I thought would be pretty unlikely. Considering that when 067 died, we didn't hear an announcement about her being eliminated. Now, when player 001 was eliminated, we did hear an announcement, although this happened off screen, and we did see money go into the pool after his death with Sabiorg. We see that she has very clearly been stabbed. It's there's a lot of blood. It's a whole situation. But we don't hear that her number has been eliminated. Though we do see the cash drop into the piggy bank. We may not have heard that she was eliminated because the front man was a bit busy at the time and also there was a lot of dramatic music since the main character Siong was kind of not really focusing on that and more focusing on the situation at hand and what had just happened. He was having a he was having a time <laughs> and there was just a lot of dramatic music. Perhaps his mind was just fuzzy and that's why we didn't hear it. But I see where this theory comes from. Whether or not it's true, I guess we just have to wait and see. Number five. Our favorite police officer is still alive. This is a pretty simple one and I believe this is true. I'm sure that most people out there also think it's true. It's a big theory, but I feel like it's more truth than theory. Obviously, he was shot in the arm by his brother and he fell off of the cliff. We did not see him be shot in the heart or in the head. And we did not see his death on screen, which obviously creates the theory that he is still alive. It is also very possible that his messages could have gotten to the other officers that he was trying to contact. It would be likely that someone found him on the island alive. Very injured, but alive. I definitely think that there is truth to this theory. Number six. This is the most interesting theory that I heard that really just feels like a theory. But the theory is that player 001, the old man Il Nam, is the father of player 456, Siong. I was kind of surprised when I heard about this theory, but I thought I would look more into it. So I'll just give you guys a rundown of the different pieces of evidence that say that he is his father and you can let me know down below whether you believe that this theory is true. When Siong says that his stomach can't handle milk and he prefers chocolate milk, Il Nam says, I'm willing to bet you got spanked a lot. When Siong asks, how did you know? The old man says, my son did too. He was just like you, friend. Fans say that this is the first hint of their estranged relationship. Hmm. I mean, he could have just been likening him to his son, but that is the first piece of evidence that was given. Before player one was thrown back into the competition, he gave Sion his jacket to wear. Il Nam said that he'd need one because people might look down on him if he didn't have a jacket. Fans say that this is a sign of him wanting to protect Sion since he knew that the workers would not kill someone with the jacket 001. In episode 6, Il Nam says, You know, when I was a kid, I lived in a neighborhood just like this. Sion replies with, So did I. And you know something? Our alleyway looked very similar during their marble game. He also let Sion pick him as his partner as he knew he could die and let Siong move on to the next round. Fans also speculated about the fact that Siong and Il Nam's son have very similar birthdays. Although the dates aren't exactly the same, it is possible that Il Nam forgot his son's actual birthday, which could mean that his son and Siong share the same birthday or are the same person. Siong's birthday is shown when he puts his pin into the ATM in episode 1 and Il Nam tells Siong when he believes his kid's birthday actually is. I feel like none of these pieces of evidence really showcase that Il Nam is Siong's father 
I mean, there is a little bit of correlation, and perhaps he did think of Seong like a child during these games and kind of wanted to protect him because of Seong's kind heart. If this theory is true, I'm not exactly sure how that would move the story across or what that would actually do for the plotline. I mean, why would he want so many people to die in order to give his son money? And wouldn't he know about his previous wife slash partner's illness and why wouldn't he want to help? Also, the fact that the games have been going on well before this game happened, it doesn't exactly make sense. But it is an interesting theory. Personally, I don't think there's any truth to it, but I mean, you never know. Number seven. A wild theory is that the second season will involve some Korean celebrities. This theory mainly surrounds Jenny from Blackpink as a photo was posted of her and Hoyeon Chong on set. She is even given a thank you credit by Netflix for the series. This is said to be because she came to set to support her friend Hoyeon Chong and she even brought a food delivery truck for all the castmates on set so they gave her a little thank you note. It is more than likely that she was just there as a friend and a fan to the series rather than actually having a cameo, but it'd be pretty interesting if we actually got some Korean celebrities in the second season or even American celebrities as the VIPs. But I very much doubt that that is going to happen and it might ruin the illusion of the show a little bit. <laughs> Even though the season has been a little bit predictable, there are still a few twists and turns and it is quite interesting to watch them. So I think if the theory serves the plotline, it could be plausible. So those are the seven most popular theories about Squid Game. Some of them are incredibly interesting and some of them do have evidence to support them. But I would love to know what you guys think of these theories or if there are any particular Squid Game theories that interest you the most. Let me know down below and I would love to have a discussion about them. I know we kind of debunked some of these theories, but again, you never know. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked these theories, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.